नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सी यूनिट डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ सेवेंथ ऑगस्ट यू कैन सी दैट यस्टरडे हैवी रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर पंजाब उत्तर प्रदेश ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड झारखंड एंड वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड बिहार नागालैंड मणिपुर मिजोरम त्रिपुरा एंड एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल दैट इज रेनफॉल मोर देन ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर रिपोर्टेड ओवर मेघालय रीजन सो हाइएस्ट रेनफॉल ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ थर्टी सेंटीमीटर रिपोर्टेड इन मैसन राम एंड इन सोरा ट्वेंटी नाइन otherwise some of the values i have reported here you can see so this is the observed weather and uh, otherwise uh, uh, green patches shows like to moderate rainfall over these regions now uh, accordingly we have uh, mentioned here two points of highlights first is that isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall likely uh, along uh, the foothills of the himalayas that is uttarakhand northern parts of uttar pradesh northern parts of bihar and also sikkim region and also over north east india during next 3 days so this is the first point and second point i have mentioned is that subdued rainfall activity likely over rest parts of the country during next one week so these are the two highlights accordingly now we see the synoptic system prevailing today you can see that this is blue line shows the normal position of uh, monsoon trough and today monsoon trough runs uh, along the north uh, of its normal position and passes through amritsar karnal bareilly gorakhpur malda and then eastwards to manipur and uh, when we are having uh, one cyclonic circulation over northern parts of bangladesh in lower tropospheric levels and another cyclonic circulation over northern parts of gujarat this sizer has no significant role for the rainfall activity today and one western disturbance also uh, today reported over uh, northern parts of uh, pakistan as a trough so these are the synoptic systems and under the influence of this synoptic system you can see that uh, good cloudiness conditions are visible from this satellite imagery over eastern parts of the country north east part of the country and isolated patches over western himalayan region so this animation shows uh, the cloudiness conditions over different parts of the country mainly in this is the portion east and north east where a good amount of cloud is there so accordingly uh, under the these synoptic systems uh, we are having warnings issued for day 1 so heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over north east india and east india mainly gangetic west bengal bihar and that joining north west india including eastern parts of uttar pradesh otherwise heavy rainfall likely during next 24 hours over uh, himachal pradesh uttarakhand western parts of uttar pradesh and jharkhand and also this uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over sikkim region this meghalaya and mizoram tripura also likely to experience extremely heavy rainfall that is more than 20 cm today so these are the subdivisional map and uh, this is weather warning map for day 2 so more or less same situation is likely to continue on day 2 accordingly heavy to very heavy rainfall likely over assam meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura bihar and eastern parts of uttar pradesh and heavy rainfall likely over arunachal pradesh sikkim gangetic west bengal jharkhand western parts of uttar pradesh and uttarakhand now we will see district wise information so this map is for issued for uttar pradesh region you can see that this northern parts of uttar pradesh especially gorakhpur and adjoining regions like to experience uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall otherwise uh, adjoining districts shown here by yellow color like to experience uh, uh, thunderstorm activity like to moderate rainfall and uh, isolated uh, activity of heavy rainfall otherwise southern parts of uttar pradesh only light rainfall is expected similarly same situation in day 2 and in day 3 as uh, in northwest and some districts of northeast including uh, maharajganj region and in northwest uh, and this uh, this region but so near uh, muzaffarnagar and rajni areas can experience uh, very heavy rainfall otherwise after 3 days only light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorm activity likely over northern parts of uttar pradesh if we see the map of tripura you can see that south and west tripura likely to experience extremely heavy rainfall during next two days so this map shows that uh, tripura region uh, likely to experience uh, extremely heavy rainfall now this map is valid for uh, day 1 and day 2 for the jharkhand you can see that northeast parts of the jharkhand including the saibganj pakur dumka and uh, goda region likely to experience heavy rainfall today and thereafter uh, today and that is after 24 hours giridi deoghar dumka agoda uh, saibganj pokar and uh, adjoining districts likely to experience heavy rainfall so accordingly north east jharkhand likely to experience heavy rainfall during next two days now this map is valid for uh, meghalaya you can see that extremely heavy rainfall likely to experience over meghalaya during next two days and thereafter reduction 
however heavy rainfall likely to experience thereafter two days that is from day three onwards now this map is valid for bihar you can see that this this portion that is west champaran east champaran and this Pur, uh, purnia and katia district likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall and otherwise uh, most of the uh, districts likely to experience light to moderate rainfall with uh, um, thunderstorm activity during next two days so day one west champaran east champaran purnia and katia district and day two this uh, sitamani madhubani mazafarpur and here in saharsa purnia and katia district likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall so accordingly during next three days light to moderate rain, rainfall likely over bihar region from day four no significant warning has been issued now we will discuss day three on board uh, subdivisional map so from day three you can see that this uttarakhand and uttar pradesh likely to experience heavy to very heavy rainfall bihar jharkhand and northeast india likely to experience heavy rainfall and day four this uh, there is a possibility of reduction in uh, intensity of the rainfall accordingly only uttarakhand arunachal pradesh and nagaland manipur mujhe uh, utpra this weather warning for heavy rainfall is given otherwise most parts of the country likely to experience either light rainfall moderate rainfall or dry weather and day 5 this again reduction is expected over most parts of the country and heavy rainfall likely only over arunachal pradesh nagaland nagaland manipur and tripura and sikkim region otherwise no weather warning is issued from day 4 onwards now we will discuss in short about the flash flood guidance so northeast parts of the country isolated activity of flash flood likely during next 24 hours now we will discuss in brief impact so accordingly on daily basis we are discussing so uh, due to heavy rainfall there is a possibility of uh, batter logging in low lying areas there, there may be a traffic uh, uh, congestion in uh, big cities and uh, uh, accordingly you can uh, follow the traffic advisories and other activities of issued by state government central government and uh, also for flood related information you visit uh, central water commission website and their guidelines now let us summarize as already mentioned that isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity likely during next three days over foothills of the himalayas especially uttarakhand northern parts of uttar pradesh northern parts of bihar sikkim region and also parts of northeast india during next three days and northeast india including meghalaya and mizoram tripura likely to experience extremely heavy rainfall during next 24 hours and second point is that subdued rainfall activity likely over remaining parts of the country during next one week and we will update the information on daily basis so kindly follow our guidelines our bulletins available at mosam.imd.gov.in and also our social media platform facebook and twitter so this is all about today we will uh, discuss again with updated information tomorrow till then namaskar jai hind